the mind rather the ego does not acknowledge anything as mystery mystery by definition is something that can never be known solved but the ego is arrogant it says everything is a problem and every problem has a solution so i can solve everything so it is busy trying to solve everything trying to solve everything in fact the more it solves the more it gets inflated so it creates more and more problems so that it can come up with more and more solutions and feel more powerful for the ego there is no mystery once it realizes that there is a mystery then the problems would anyway vanish because all the problems are ego created ego creates you see the whole movement so but the problem is No, the problem is not a problem. The problem is always a problem for somebody. The problem is a problem when you want something. All right. Otherwise, there is nothing called problem. It's just a situation. It is happening. You call it a problem because you have a particular identity. You are somebody who is having that problem. Otherwise, it's not a problem. Nothing is a problem. It's just a situation. problem exists only for the ego otherwise there is no problem you getting this i want 40 lakh rupees i have only 10 lakh now it's a problem right why is it a problem is there is something wrong with the figure of rupees 10 lakh what is the problem then because i am somebody who wanted 40 so it's a problem that i have only 10 otherwise it's just a situation so i should try to get 40 or be happy to get i should first realize that it is not a problem at all that my identity is the problem otherwise there is no problem Hmm? and then the right action will happen first thing is the realization what realization that it is not a problem as such the problem exists for me with reference to me otherwise it's just a situation mind wants to take the problem as an objective thing existing outside of me thing is the problem is not objective the problem is the subject itself it exists within me the problem exists here not there and ego always needs problems remember that it's not as if problems are just coming to you unwantedly from all directions we feel that way right oh life is full of problems problems are coming from here problems are coming from there problems are not coming the ego needs problems so that it can survive the ego says i am a problem solver hmm so if the ego says that i am a problem solver then when the problem really arises why do you feel fear because fear reinforces ego the ego is very comfortable with fear and the ego is very afraid of joy fearlessness yes. have you not seen how people run away from joy yes they actually do the ego is very comfortable with fear it pretends that i do not like fear but it actually does because it reinforces the hmm. whenever somebody is afraid what do i say i am afraid so the separation between me and the world increases the world is trying to frighten me and i am afraid and ego actually divides and ego divides so ego likes fear when somebody will take you towards fearlessness the ego will resist it yes it happens ego is afraid of joy of love of freedom ego does not like all these <laughs>